new video. I found my gloves. Oh! So I can hide my horrible bitten hands. Actually, they're not that bad at the moment, but I've, I found my gloves, so that's good. Um, right, I'm going to do an acrylic set today. I've got Rachel Wilder's Premium Liquid Monomer. I've just bought myself some more of this so I don't run out. <gasps> don't want to run out. And I've got some gorgeous colours. So I've got Ambrose. I actually don't use this one. I think I ended up using one called Chance. Or do I use this one? Do I use Ambrose? I think maybe I do use Ambrose, actually. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I've also got Tease Me. This is a really gorgeous lilac-y grey. And it's got a shimmer in it as well. So nice. And then I've also got... In a minute, I'll show you. Oh, Boho Bubblegum. This is a really pretty colour. That is it there. But it looks slightly different once you've hit it with the monomer. <laughs> right, I've got some tips ready. I've also decided to use popcorn as my core colour. It's got a gorgeous, like, shimmery, flaky through it. It's lovely. If I can get the pot off, here it is. Ta-da! Can you see it's got little flakes in it? It's gorgeous, like a lovely nude with flakes in. Probably said that about three times now, but there we go. And then I have got out some whipped cream this is this is just a white basically in a nutshell i don't know why i took the lid off to show you because it's just like white acrylic powder <laughs> oh so exciting a white acrylic and then i'm using clear candy this is in her old packaging i've just bought um a new one in the new packaging so that i can show that on the video instead because it all like matches <laughs> And then I have also got the Mystical Mylar from Nail Sugar. This is gorgeous. You can get 10% off any Nail Sugar glitters using my code NATMOG10. And then I also have Winter Leaves. These were from last Christmas. The, the release is around Christmas last year. I absolutely love these though. I felt like I couldn't get rid of them. So I'm going to use some of these. They're not actually on the website anymore, but they may come back for... I don't actually know what Karen's got actually coming out for Christmas. But the Christmas goodies probably won't be that long now. So these, are, these were from last year and you get like rose gold, hollow, silver. Oh, it's lovely. Uh, right, for my design... I like to use my Scarlet Centre Queen acrylic brush. This is a size 8, so it's quite little. Well, no, it's not little. It's, like, average. <laughs> and then for, like, capping and stuff, I'll use this bigger one. Um, I don't know what size it is. I can't remember where I got it from. I've just got it, and it's actually really nice. But you can see it's quite a lot bigger. So I'll use that for... Um, sometimes I use it to do my smile lines and for capping in clear because I can pick up a bigger bead. Yes, that's why. Right, I'm going to pop a little bit of the monomer in my Dappen dish and then I'm going to start by creating a smile line with the acrylic popcorn. So my bead was a little bit wet. I couldn't, I, there was, when I had, while I had my glove on, the, there was, you know where your thumb and your index finger is? The gloves, I bought, I think I bought size small gloves and um, the, because I haven't got big hands, I've got little hands, little hands. Um, Anyway, the, it was I couldn't hold my brush properly because <laughs> of the bit of the gloves between my thumb and my index finger. I had to push it down a bit more. Anyway, um, I'm, I need to practice my smile lines. So this is me practicing a smile line. I'm only actually going to do one. Rachel done a live. She's actually going to be having on her website very soon. If you buy a... She's going to be doing a French course, like a workshop thing on her on her website but also if you buy her french acrylic kit i think you automatically get put into the the facebook the course or what i can't remember if it's a workshop or a course um but it is actually the kit is on her website at the minute and it's got all the information about the yeah about the, the workshop or the course so go and have a look because that's worth doing especially for someone like me who I don't know I just feel like I struggle I'll tell you what I struggle with the most the the set you know the set that I done on my Alina hand the other day the like purpley galaxy spider ones um I struggle putting enough on to create my apex um yeah I struggle with that but because I'm the thing is I don't do clients I do it for YouTube so it's not the end of the world but I would still like my nails to be right because you know occasion on the occasion that I 
the rare occasion that I would do someone's nails. You know, I still want to be able to do it properly. But yeah, anyway, right, waffling on there. Right, this one is, this is the Tease Me Acrylic. Isn't that the most beautiful colour? It's like a, a bluey lilac-y grey. It's really pretty. Um, so I'm creating a marble, but I'm putting the colours on top of each other. But I decide I don't like doing it this way. I don't know, I don't think I picked up big enough beads. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a wet bead of one colour. And then a wet bead of another colour. And just kind of work them through, just work my way down the nail. Like, so this is Tease Me. So this is this is quite wet. Then I'm going to take an, another colour, which this is, I think this is Ambrose. I think this was Ambrose in the end, because I think I was going to use... I can't bloody remember. <laughs> Brain like a sieve. Um, so back into Tease Me, and then back in with Boho Bubblegum. And, yeah, I'm just sort of working my way down. I preferred that to the top. But I do cover it up a little bit with some glitter. Because you, know you know what I say? If, you know, cover that beep up with glitter. Because, you know, if you ruin it. This is the Mystical Myla. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use, I also use uh, another glitter, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm just popping the Mystical Myla on the nail, just following the way of the marble. I'm going to grab some of these leaves as well, because these leaves are pretty. Oh, maybe I don't do it on this nail. So I'm just grabbing a couple, a few, more than a couple, a few. And yeah, I'm going to put them on top of the Mystical Myla. They're really nice kind of like you could use these for the autumn winter transition period you know <laughs> you know when you talk and you think i don't actually know what's coming out of my mouth my mouth is working and my brain has no idea what i'm saying there we go i'm gonna finish that nail like that i'm just gonna leave it like that i will cap it there in a minute but i'm gonna leave the design as that this one right so this is tease me again i'm gonna do a full nail of this i love this color it's just so I, this colour makes me feel snuggly. You know, I'd imagine a, a sweater or something in this colour. And it, I kind of, yeah, makes me feel all snuggly. Even though I'm sitting here with my window open and the ceiling fan on and I'm absolutely bloody freezing. I don't even know why the window's open. My other half left it open this morning. He'll have to go out the window. And he left it open. And I can't get round there because the bed's in the way and his plants. He's got, uh, not plants, he's got, um, he's got a citrus tree. And a, it's like an orange tree and a, a lime tree, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, bless him. He's obsessed. Right. I mean, this is palladium. This is a multi-cut. Do they call it multi-cut? I don't know. It's um, it's a glitter mix, but it's mas it basically it's basically hollow, hollow glitter and silver metallic glitter. And there's like big chunks, medium chunks, and fine glitters in this. I feel like I need to burp. Okay, it's gone now. Whatever it was is gone. Um, I'm going to cover the whole... No, I'm not not covering the whole nail, but I'm putting the glitter on all the way down to the bottom of the nail. I still want to kind of be able to see the colour of the, the acrylic underneath, so it's not like a completely full uh, nail. But and, th and then over the top of that, I'm putting some of the Mystical Mylar. I really like iridescent glitter over hollowy metallic. I just feel like... it. The, I saw a set of nails once, like years ago when I first started, and they'd put like, oh God, I keep saying like this morning, <laughs> it's really getting on my nerves. Um, yeah, they, they'd done like a hollow metallic glitter with iridescent over the top and it looked really nice and I've loved it ever since. But this nail I have filed around my smile line. I don't think I've done it very well because later on at the end it looks a little bit wonky, <laughs> the smile line. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. So I'm putting some of the whipped cream acrylic around the edge of the smile line and then I'm going to work it down a little bit but not all the way to the bottom because this now I kind of wanted a clear tip but I do cover I do go over with some glitter as well so it's not completely see-through but we're putting the mystical mylar on and then I've got a bit of palladium this is the metallic-y hollow one the silver one and then i think i go back in with a little bit of yeah over the yeah a bit more of that over the top and then i'm going to leave that as it is so although the clip the tip is clear it's not there's, there's actually a lot of glitter on that so you probably can't see through it much 
<laughs> so I'm going to leave that one like that as, uh, <coughs> excuse me as well and then this one I'm going to do like another marbly nail this time I'm putting boho bubblegum at the top when you do a marble um, I find it easier to do my cuticle bead first because it yeah you just don't have to muck around with it's yeah when you're doing a marble it's difficult to do your cuticle do you, you know what I mean so I tried the I tried to do the the wet bead method on top of each other again and I'm not I'm not I'm not convinced I don't know I that's the one I struggle with maybe I'm not picking up big enough beads because I feel like it doesn't I don't know I just don't know and then I do my whole like single beads but wet drag them in through each other the, on this nail I'm using the white as well because I use white on the smile line now so I want white somewhere else in the set so that it kind of it goes you know oh my dad's just messaged me he's not very well he's gone back home so there we go so we've got a bit of white on that nail as well so hopefully you know they'll, they'll tie in you know you know what I mean? And then we're going to add some palladium to this one. I'm sorry if you can hear the workmen. They've, they've, um, I think they were taking the windows off of a flatbed lorry yesterday. So hopefully once they get the windows on, we won't hear so much and, until they take all the scaffolding down and then, then it'll be noisy again. <laughs> and there's a lot of scaffolding around that building. Okay, so what's this one the mystical mylar over the top of palladium and i don't think i put leaves on this one. Oh, i think i put a leaf on the smile line now just a single leaf i can't remember i think i did uh, this nail i am using popcorn at the top and i'm gonna blend it down more down i'm gonna blend it down one side a bit more than the other because I'm gonna put, I want to put some crystals on this now, and I kind of like at the moment when you have like a. I said like again. What's wrong with me? Why do I keep saying like? It's, you know, you know, my some people that when they say things a lot, the I find the other word people say a lot is basically, <laughs> basically and like and um um's another one. When I don't know what I'm saying or when I've got to think about what I'm going to say, um, comes out a lot. And sometimes when I'm editing my video, I will cut out about 10 erms out of a, out of a video because <laughs> it drives me bananas. This now I, I mucked up a little bit. So I wanted the popcorn and then I wanted that tease me, that grey lilac. Now, can you hear the dust cart? Bloody hell, dustbin lorry. And then I wanted the pink, but I done it all wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. So I went back over with the tease me. To, I, I needed to bring it down here a bit. And then I went back in with a bit of, was it Ambrose? I said, yeah, Ambrose. Yeah, and it, and it kind of, this now just went a little bit wrong, even though it kind of, it looked all right in the end. And then where tease me meets Ambrose, I'm going to put some glitter. This is like a proper glittery, I feel like this is proper winter. I don't even know if, like, is this a bit too early? Is it a little bit too early for this kind of colour? This kind of, I don't know. But it's, I tell you what, it's bloody freezing at the moment. Well, I feel really cold. My, it's my other half says, because you've got a cold heart. It's because you're cold blooded, he says. <laughs> He's so mean. There we go, bit of glitter. That kind of covers up the mistake that I made where the colours mush. Anyway, this is the the nails. This is all the design work done. I'm going to cap them all now in clear candy. And I filed them. And as if by magic. Ta-da! There we go. Right, so it's top coating time. It's top coating time! Oh my gosh, will you be quiet outside? I should shut my window, but I can't be bothered. Um, this is... Because I have to climb over the bed. <laughs> so lazy. I don't actually have Rachel Wilder's... Um, top coat so I'm going to use Madame Glam's because Madame Glam is literally like my favourite hang on I need to I need to go I need to move away from the window I'm going to I'm not even near the window it's just very noisy right, I'm going to go here you might be able to hear Lorraine Kelly in the background Lorraine Kelly can you see me growler oh that was so funny the comments yeah it was both selector <laughs> I can't stand here because the neighbours can talk they can neighbours can probably hear me talking about growlers so I'm going to go back in the bedroom oh god the noise 
stop moaning okay right once i have top coated all the nails by the way you can get 30 percent off any madam glam um products using my code natmug30 they are doing a um a think pink collection this month where if you buy um any like however many if, if they're in the think pink collection they will donate one pound to every bottle of gel polish sold to i think it's survivingbreastcancer.org or survivingcancer.org i can't remember the name of the but it's for it's for charity so it's a good cause there we go oh that's so pretty right they're gonna go in the lamp for 30 seconds and then i'm using rachel's crystal fix this is a gem glue and it's a curable one so you can move the crystals around the crystals i'm using are from crystal parade i have got their zodiac slim raindrops these are the smaller six mil ones so you uh, you can get bigger ones i don't know they might do them on i don't know but i have seen bigger versions of raindrops anyway i've got preciosa ab crystals these are my bigger ones so i've got these are ss16s and ss20s and I keep them separate from my smaller sizes. Otherwise, I'm forever trying to, you know. So I've got SS3s, 5s, 7s, 9s and 12s in here. SS3s are really tiny. They're like really nice gap fillers. They're almost like caviar bead size. That's how small they are. And then I'm using Preciosa's Caribbean Sea again. Do you know what? I haven't used these. And I've used these a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. They're a really pretty green there we go that's them so you can get five percent off any of these crystals from crystal parade using my code nap5 fyi and then lastly i've got preciosa ruby actually i need to order some more of these there was something else i wanted to order and i can't remember what it was but i want some more sizes of the ruby because they yeah oh look at those i've only got like little sizes in and then a slightly bigger size but i want a all oh, right yeah, yeah okay anyway i'm um, using my crystal pro today this is the scarlet center crystal pro um i think her website is scarletcenter.co.uk she sells the brushes the brushes will be on there as well uh right crystal fix is going on i'm just going straight on the nail with the crystal fix if you're doing this on a client i would suggest buffing area where you want to put the crystals because it will um they'll probably last a bit longer because you know if you put something on a shiny surface it doesn't stick as, as nice as if it's on a, a like a buffed surface hence why you prep your nails before you stick your you know what i mean you know what i'm saying um same principle but i don't do it because i'm just doing these on tips for youtube though i probably should show you the correct way because you know anyway right i've put a couple of rainbow rainbow no a couple of raindrop crystals in the center and then i'm using a mixture of the different colors coming off the raindrops <laughs> oh, stop it it's typical isn't it something like this has to happen when i'm doing my voiceover they couldn't they couldn't what it's just it's what's yeah murphy's law or sod's law i don't know which one you want to call it so i'm also i'm not going to use caviar beads today what i hear you say i know i am going to use i had to put a little bit more gem glue on there not gem glue crystal fix it is a gem glue so i suppose it could be right um right because there was can you see there's some gem glue sticking out around especially around those re rain drop nails i want to say rainbow then <laughs> right these are micro crystals they're ab micro crystals i got these from nail sugar ages ago when they sold these um preciosa do do things like this in different different um they're like little tiny crystals and little chips and and uh caviar beads all kind of mixed together actually i should have used those today they're really gorgeous they're from crystal parade as well but obviously i'm using these um i'm just gonna tip some of these onto the nail in the hope that they stick where i've got some gem glue flooding out if not like i would caviar beads i'm just going to use the tip of my um what is it oh my gosh crystal picker up at all or if it's a dotting tool you're using i'm just going to use that to pick up some of the, the crystals right this nail i'm going to do a like um a kind of extreme crystal cuff yeah an extreme but i'm doing a bit of a fan shape with the rain drop nails i keep wanting to say rainbow i'm having to think about it before i say it rain rain drops not bow yeah it's really weird <clears throat> and then i'm going to put a little ruby crystal between the top 
of those and then I feel like the, the crystals get a little bit lost on this now because there's like so much glitter going on but it, you know it just adds to the sparkle of an owl I'm going to put a little crystal at the bottom actually I think I put two at the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my dotting tool it's not a dotting tool Nats it's a crystal picker upper to put the crystals into the gem glue if there's a bit that I've missed I'm just going to use the end to move some of that gem glue into the places where I want to put the crystals and again I'm using a mixture of the AB Caribbean Sea and the Ruby and a few AB rain drops. I nearly said bow, but I, I didn't. I got it right. <laughs> and then at the top of these, I found like there was a bit of a gap. And I wasn't sure what colour to use. So I ended up using those little micro crystals again. Can you see, just either side of that ruby, there was like a little bit of a gap. I'm going to put a little crystal down the bottom. And then here we go, back in with the micro crystals. I was like, this time I think I'm gonna have to pick them up myself. So there we go, just next to that ruby, I kind of just put a couple each side. And then that's gonna go into the lamp for a full cure. Do I do two or do I add three? I can't even see, because the box is in the way. But anyway, once I'm happy, yeah. 60 second cure in my LED lamp. Oh my God, I'm putting them everywhere. I thought I only put them at the top. So yeah, put them where you want, really. <laughs> there we go. That's going to go in the lamp now, I promise. There we go. Okay, and this is them done. I'm just going to put them on my little, my silicon tool and show you up close. Here we go. So I will leave the link to Rachel Wilder's website in the description box below. She doesn't just do acrylic, she does gel polishes and art gels and marble and inks and all sorts of stuff, tools. So go and have a look. Um, all the links to the other places will be in the description box as well, along as uh, as lot along with discount codes. That's what I'm trying to say. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I'll see you beautiful on Monday with a new video. Have an amazing weekend. Love you all. Bye.